Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Jaguar XE. Uh, lovely low mileage example this one. Some nice uh, bits and bobs on the spec as well, including the big glass electric roof, which I know is unusual on these. Um, I'll take you around and show you everything I can see. Um, in terms of defects, there really is hardly anything to point out. A couple of stone chips at the front maybe. Um, so most of it will be concentrating on spec, that sort of stuff. But I'll take you around and show you everything I can see. Uh, metallic black, ultimate black is the Jaguar name for it. Uh, just a very solid, deep metallic black. We've got front parking sensors, daytime running lights, Xenon headlights. The parking sensors go all the way around onto the sides because it's got the parking package where it will park the car for you. We've got these 18 inch alloys, six spoke design. A uh, couple, I think that's going to come off with the fingernail, yes it will. Uh, I'm sure there's one mark on my... Oh yeah, there it is, just there. Next end tyres, decent solid mid-range brand. Uh, indicators built into the wing mirrors. The big glass roof, so you can tilt that. You can slide it all the way back here, it's got the little windbreaker. Or inside, it, I'll demo that when we get in there, is a separate electric blind as well that goes across there. Colour match is all good, panels are all good. I can't spot any poor previous paintwork. That wheel's in good order. Privacy glass going through the back there, of course. Loads of parking sensors along the back. Again, going in with that parking package. Twin tailpipes. Reverse cameras just there. LED lights all round on the interior as well. Add blue fillers just there. Space saver spare wheel, the battery's tucked underneath there, and the tools are there. I have got the locking wheel out as well, that's inside. Uh, a couple of marks on this alloy wheel here. All the chrome detailing going around the side of the windows. And on these uh, louvers on the arch as well. And I think that will come off with a bit of a polish as well, that mark there. I don't think that's a curb mark. Those, however, are just along the top edge there. Loads of sensors in there, automatic everything. Right. And that's it for the outside. We'll head inside now, I'll start at the back. So electric windows in the back, airbags built into the side of the front seat, it's the easiest time to show you that. Little magazine nets in the back, you've got a 12 volt point and some storage down there. Lovely leather, uh, perforated sections through the centre and then solid for the outside bolsters. Three headrests along the back. If you're not using the middle one, got this fold down armrest, with cup holders, isofix points for your two outer rear seats, and decent legroom. Not quite as much as you get in the XF, I think that's a slightly longer wheelbase, but very adequate for adults nonetheless. Shark fin aerial just up there as well. Other side, obviously, much the same. Just showing you everything from all angles. Grey headlining, again LED lights there. Head into the front. You can see here it's got the Meridian audio. Electric windows and door locking in the front here. You get these Jaguar logos on the kick plates. We have passengers and drivers electric seats. That's all working as it should. And you've got the Jaguar logo embossed into the headrests, or debossed, I can never remember which way around it is. Airbag here, stitched leather dash. There's the aforementioned locking wheel nut. Let's head around to the driver's side now and have a look there. Electric mirrors, electric windows, door locking. A 
original wallet with the owner's manuals. That's beeping at me because I've left the headlights on. Electric seat for the driver as well. That's all working. Um, some mild creasing just on that part of the bolster. But overall that's holding up really well. I'm going to hop in and show you the rest of it so it stops beeping at us. Okay. There we are. Tailgate release and your lane guidance down there. There's the mileage. 55,000, excuse me, 183. Auto wipers, auto lights, leather trimmed multifunction steering wheel, menu and audio over this side, voice, which it has got, I've tried that out. I won't do it on the test because I'm already talking to myself. <laughs> talking to two things at once would be concerning. Heated steering wheel and cruise control. Um, Jaguar logo up here on the center speaker You've got uh, your home screen here, which you can customize tons of stuff to show you here So I'll just go from left to right so cameras There This is where you can instigate the parking modes Perpendicular parallel uh, parallel and park exit all the P's and um, go back one stage there Um, audio here so the media library is like a built-in hard drive you've got the radio of course as well and that has DAB FM and AM link your phone up there sat nav here I get that fuel warning out of the way you can see it's a full screen experience as it were heated seats can be controlled from here too tons of other things that you can do here web browser various car settings there's the voice display there's like a training mode and all that sort of stuff there so tons and tons i could spend hours just on that bit so we'll i think that's all right for a brief overview single slot cd dual zone climate control i've got it on low and it is freezing in here so that is all working as it should stop start button for the engine there's your gear selector park reverse neutral drive and sport Outside of that, you've got the flappy paddles on the steering wheel as well. You can turn your stop start off here. Here's all your driving modes and traction control. Parking brake, I'm never sure what that one is. Two keys, both original smart keys and not falling apart. These two have a habit of self-destructing, but these look pretty good. Cup holders, armrest, inside of which is inputs including HDMI, USB, there's even a SIM card in there, um, and a 12 volt point. You have got airbags up here and over here, vanity mirrors, sorry I'm developing a cold as we do the video, must be that freezing aircon, um, LED vanity mirrors, sunglasses holder, SOS button, that one is just to, if you subscribe to the uh, Jaguar app, some of the vehicles you can remotely start and that sort of stuff. Little dot on there tells me that it's an auto dimming rear view mirror as well. And here's the big roof. So that one's the blind, that one's the roof itself. So it's a one touch operation. So that closes up the roof. And then that one brings the blind across. That's all working flawlessly. I'll leave that back open because obviously if someone's browsing on the site it's easier to see if it's got a sunroof like that okay that is everything i can see um i may have missed something because it's such a high spec car if i have please just get in contact and i'll check for you straight away i will also include as many pictures as possible of the interior exterior and paperwork so hopefully along with this video it's given you a really good idea of what the car is like without having to visit the site i know a lot of people do most of their research online now and we get a lot of people even just purchasing directly. So if you like what you've seen here and you'd like the car delivered, get in contact and leave us a small deposit and then we'll make the arrangements to, to get it up to you. If you give us a call, I can explain in further detail how that works. Uh, obviously in the traditional sense, if you wanna come down to the site, you're more than welcome. Here we are, 
main road site on the border of Fairham and Gosport. Tons and tons of cars to look at and accessible seven days a week. However, we're a small two-man business. We cannot be on site at all times. So if you're seriously interested in a vehicle, please do phone up first and make an appointment before heading down. Um, I'd hate you to waste a journey and no one is here to accommodate you. That's nearly everything I've got to say. I just missed that it's got a heated front screen. Hopefully you can see the element there. Uh, and that now is everything I've got to say. So thank you very much for watching.